And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of this Ligue 1 match. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they take on Stade Brestois. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. The presence of Lionel Messi in the starting 11 should be a warning to opposing defenders. Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. The drama has commenced here in Paris. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Marco Verratti starts alongside Jorginho Wijnaldum in central midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. Space and time for the cross. Wijnaldum. Beautifully disguised ball. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Kebla, Honora, well he's lost the ball, Messi, now what can Lionel Messi do from here, and space for the cross, might it be Mbappe, pounds away by the keeper, Corner awarded to PSG. The delivery from Neymar. Up behind for another corner. Neymar's corner. Superb block. Wijnaldum. Now Gay. Chance Wijnaldum. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Well, the keeper had a lot to do. Well, it's a great piece of goalkeeping. So quick off his line. Ronael Pierre Gabriel. Fevre. Belkebla, Honora, can they create something from here? But they took care of the situation defensively. Mbappe, and he's broken free! It's still there for him. Keeper getting the touch! Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. 
Now, will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? Verratti. Messi. The inside route looking promising. And it's gone in! The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here it is again. And I don't expect goalkeeper to save everything at the end of the post. But on this occasion, although it's a good strike, he should do better. So 2-0 now. Read it well. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Fevre. Belkebla. Honora. He's going forward well here. Terrell. Belkebla. Mounier. And it's still on for him. And there it is. Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, here's the replay, and it shows how patient they were in the build-up. Just so assured, waiting for the right moment. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Well, we say there's quite a lot in commentary, don't we, Stuart? Lionel Messi excelling in the first half. Yes, he'll be pleased with his first half display. His movement... Well, they get the ball rolling again. Paris Saint-Germain with the advantage, but no room for complacency. Won it back. It is a decent-looking attack here. Brendan Chardonnay. He's using his strength to good effect. Ronald Pierre Gabriel. Dangerous looking attack. This could level it. The net is steering him in the face. And the keeper will happily collect that one. Mbappe. And now Gay. Neymar. PSG looking dangerous. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Well, the visitors, as you can see, have enjoyed so much of the possession, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. 30 minutes to go then. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Neymar. Here's Ramos. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Delightful pass. Keeper getting the touch. Cuts it back. 
Kylian Mbappe. Wijnaldum. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, let's look at the replay. They move the ball so well, just waiting for an opening. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. continues and no shortage of goals 3-1 as things stand Nothing comes of it. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Cardona. Space and time for the cross. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Kevin Cardona. It's a perfect challenge. Just ten minutes to go. Hakimi. Well, not far away from the final whistle, and PSG very much in control. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between. Oh wait, Stuart, they might score. Oh, and it goes. No, he has his hat trick. A special moment for him. Well, here it is again, and there's the touch on the shot, but it's just not enough, is it? He'll be so frustrated that he didn't keep that out. Not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Kebla Munier has it Munier well it wasn't a great pass was it and we will have just one additional minute and that will be all three points for PSG that's the good news for their fans around the world your assessment you're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. The drama has commenced here in Paris. Wijnaldum, beautifully disguised ball, and a goal right off the bat, no wonder they're jumping for joy. The inside route looking promising, and it's gone in, the team's separated by two goals now, you cannot say they don't deserve it. Mounier. And there. 